welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I've gained a lot of subscribers over the last week, so thank you very much. Welcome. In my last video, obviously, I did a get ready with me to go to a Christmas fair, so I thought I would do a whole video from the Christmas fair. <laughs> um, I spent way too much money. Couldn't really resist things. Christmas fairs are just really bad for me. I love little trinkety things and, well, that's all you get at Christmas fairs. However, the Christmas fair was at Ely Cathedral, first of all, and I popped into, just into town quickly before we went to the fair and I ended up buying a bag. I know, really, really bad. But when you see it, you'll understand why. And it was really inexpensive for what it is as well, so I could not resist. It was bought from a shop called Stock Shops. I never really go in there. The Stock Shop is more designed for an older person rather than early 20s like myself. So I never really go in there, but we popped in there anyway. And there was adorable little Christmas decorations, which is what drew us in, in the window. And we were looking at those and I turned around and I saw these bags. Now I went over just to have a look, not expecting to end up buying one, but I fell in love with this bag. This is the bag. So it is a metallic burgundy color, and you've got the gold hardware here. There's also a gold zip there and then the black candles. It's so structured, it's beautiful. I don't know if you were gonna have heard anything that I just said. Wow! I am glowing. <laughs> now, the thing I really, really liked about this bag, it's so structured, like there is no movement in this bag, it's rigid, and I absolutely love that. I'm gonna use this bag for like business use, so my laptop fits perfectly in here, my camera fits in there really, really nicely, um, anything will fit in here. And the other thing that I really like about this bag is it's actually two bags in one. So you've got the main bulk of the bag here, this is really hard to show because it's so big, um, main bulk of the bag here, and then inside, there is a smaller bag that comes out, and there's also a long handle inside this smaller bag. Um, so you can make either your little this little bag into a longer bag, or you can also attach it to this one as well. So I'm pretty much got two bags in one. The reason I ended up getting it is because it was only forty pounds, and I'm really weak when it comes to bags, and normally. If I find a bag, it's the most expensive thing ever in the whole entire world. So when I found out this was only £40, couldn't say no, so I didn't. So yes, that was the first purchase. This was a very naughty purchase, but I don't regret it. Okay, on to things that I actually bought at the Christmas fair. The first thing that I bought was a candle. This is from the... This is from the... No. This is the scent Elderflower and Champagne. They didn't give me a business card, so I don't actually know the business. Um, otherwise, I would let you know, but... This candle smells beautiful, like it's perfectly down my street with smells. It's so subtle, really, really like delicate smell. Um, and it's also a three wick candle, you can see that I have already burnt it. But the reason I went for this, I did actually ask if they had this in a smaller candle because the big candles like this were £10 and I didn't really want to spend £10 on one candle at Christmas fairs, just that's a bit extreme if you ask me. So I asked and they said no, but this candle was from last season and because the tin is a little bit battered, which I actually quite like, instead of £10 I got it for £6, so this came home with me. The next thing I bought was a little accessory. Um, it is a floppy hat and it is from the a business called, well, a lady called Amanda Sutherland Beautiful Accessories. I will see if I can find a link or anything to her and leave it down below because her hats were beautiful and I literally fell in love with this. It is like your classic floppy hat and she's just put a really beautiful vintage silk scarf, tied the bow, and then there is a beautiful vintage brooch just here. I'm going to try and do a close-up of the brooch so you can see it a bit better. But, oh my goodness, this hat, literally, is so gorgeous. And it fits my head, and I have a pea head, so if I find a hat that fits my head, I tend to buy it. Um, but yeah, absolutely in love with this hat. And uh, she was selling them for £30 instead of £50 at the fair, so... Yeah, I couldn't resist. Next there was a little stand that was full of little wooden toys and accessories and things. Lindsay, if you are watching, please stop watching because some of little Theodore's presents are in this haul. Uh, first of all, we got these little coasters. I went with my mum, that's why I said we. We got these little coasters, perfect for stocking fillers. Again, I didn't get a business card from these people. Some people just aren't good business people. They were really, really cute. So we got this one which says, I'm not quite perfect, but I'm also so close, it scares me. Couldn't resist that. Then we got, I'm not asleep, I'm thinking with my eyes closed. This is my mum's because 
when I was little, she would always fall asleep on the sofa, but she'd always say that she's just resting her eyes. Thumbs up this video if anyone else's mum used to say that, when you were like, can we go do this, can we go do that? And they were like, no, I'm just resting my eyes. No, you're not, you're asleep. Um, and the other one we got was, friendship isn't a big thing, it's thousands of small things, which is just really, really cute. And lastly is my little nephew Theodore's, two of his adorable little presents, I couldn't resist these. So the first thing is this little set here. Wooden toys are so adorable and perfect for keepsake presents for, especially, it's gonna be his first Christmas, like, he's not even gonna be a year old, so wooden toys are perfect. And I couldn't resist this one, so you've got a little wooden London taxi in there, a London bus, and a London police car. I'm hoping the police car's gonna be his favourite, because his grandpa is a policeman, so. They're a really good size as well, so he can hold onto them even though he's quite young um, he can still hold on to them and things so yeah or she can save him for when he's older so there's that and then the second thing is just something really cute that he can either play with or it can sit on his like windowsill or something like on a little shelf but um, it is it's gonna be really hard to hold up this little train so I've got a little train at the front, then we've got a little tea for Theodore, and then there's a little um, carriage on the back. And it does move, it's on the wheels, and they all come apart, so they had all the different letters and things. I was going to spell his name, but I was like, that's quite long, and I'm not sure we're going to find anywhere to put it. So I just got the tea, perfect little present, adorable, and I, I couldn't resist it. And that is everything that I got at the Christmas fair this year. I didn't manage to go to any Christmas fairs last year, so... Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I spent way too much money. There is also another Christmas fair, and I'm refusing to go because I don't have the money to go and buy trinkety things for myself, which is usually what happens. Even though I go out planning on buying something for presents and other people, I will always come home with something for myself, like a bag and a hat. But yes, anyway, let me know if you're going to any Christmas fairs this year, or if you've got any blog posts or videos on Christmas fairs, or vlogs. Love Christmas fair vlogs. I would love to watch those, so leave those in the comments below and I'll make sure to go and give those a watch. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. It really, really does mean a lot, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!